I've been keeping a journal for quite a few years now. Uh, sometimes I journal every day, and there's sometimes where I haven't journaled for weeks or even months. But whenever I go back to it, I really, really enjoy it. This is the Teach Mindfulness podcast. My name is Shamash. We're talking about journaling and, in particular, mindful journaling and how you can introduce that into your classes and how it's beneficial. I remember when researching for one of my books, I think it was Relaxation for Dummies, which I wrote a few years ago, uh, I was looking at the research on journaling. And some of the research found that to have a journal, which is essentially writing down your thoughts and feelings um, on a piece of paper or somewhere, is actually sometimes even more powerful than talking to a counsellor and a therapist. And they weren't too sure why. But they, the conclusion they came to was that uh, they just feel that, you know, if you've got um, a book or a paper that you know that nobody else is going to read, you can really open yourself up to it and open yourself up to your, your emotions, knowing that you won't be judged because no one's going to read it because you're probably going to maybe destroy it afterwards. And so journaling is really, really good for your health. I remember another researcher, I think his name is Pennebaker, he spent most of his life researching journaling and there was another amazing finding that they came up with which was to ask people to write down about their most stressful experience in their whole life and that's wow that's really challenging uh, but they got a group group of people to do that and they only had to do it once they had to sit down for 20 minutes or half an hour and really open themselves up to that challenging experience they had in the past and they tracked the, the health of these people uh, over months and I believe even years. And what they found is that, you know, they actually started to be healthier uh, compared to people that hadn't done this. Um, and they were less likely to get sick as well and, and end up in hospital. So a powerful example of when you can open up to your most difficult emotions, it can release something that can be really helpful and beneficial for you. So that's a little bit about the power of journaling. But then how can you introduce journaling or integrate journaling into your classes? Well, you can uh, give a little weekly challenge for your group to do some journaling each week if they're doing a a certain number of weeks course, let's say doing a six week course with you every week, you can encourage them to do some journaling every day. Start small, encourage them to write for maybe just a few sentences or maybe just for a minute at the end of the day. And you can help them to create the habit by letting them know they should uh, leave a journal or a booklet or some paper, even a little notebook by the side of their bed. And so as they're getting into bed, they can write it there or they can keep it next to where they normally meditate. And so if they've got a little spot in the in their home where they meditate or at work, uh, they know that the little journal's there. And so after meditating, they can spend a minute or two just writing down how the experience was, any insights that they had. Um, and that links to what I wanted to say next about channeling is that they could, your students can write down after the meditation how the experience was or they could just journal about any other at any other time of the day, any other time that works for them. You might want to encourage them as it's a mindful class that you're running or coaching, just for them to take even just one breath or three breaths, something like that. It makes a difference just to taking a deep breath in and out or similar for, for 10 or 20 seconds or more if they're up for it. And then doing the journaling, you just feel a little bit more present. You can give little prompts for, for the journaling activity. It could be a prompt uh, if you wanted to make it into a gratitude exercise, what am I grateful for? I, I'm a big fan of luck. And uh, I remember studying a book called The Luck Factor on the Science of Luck. And uh, reflecting on how lucky you've been is a nice exercise. So not quite linked to mindfulness, but it's a fun one. So you could write, you could encourage them to write down uh, how they feel they've been lucky on that day or that week. Or it could be more to do with kindness um, and compassion. And so the prompts could be, how can I be kind to myself? And then they write down some ideas there. Uh, but essentially, the journaling is about giving them insights to their thoughts and feelings. And that's why it's a mindful exercise. They're starting to learn about the patterns of their thoughts, the kind of patterns that their feelings get into as well. And because you're recording it in a journal and you can look back on it, 
you can start spotting patterns in your own life. Maybe there's certain thoughts that keep coming up that you never realized. So uh, encourage them to be like little uh, explorers, little discoverers, wanting to find out more about, about themselves and, and being curious. It's also, there's something about journaling that's powerful. It's just that very process of getting the thoughts out of your head and into the physical world by writing it down. Um, I mean, it could take in the form of something uh, creative like drawing as well. But that process, that creative act of getting things out of our head and into the world is some sort of powerful release that happens there. There's a famous process uh, that creatives use called morning pages, where they spend a certain amount of time writing down all just a stream of consciousness. And uh, it may not seem mindful to time yourself or try to do a certain amount. But I found that works really well even if it's a two minute stopwatch and for two minutes you write down everything that comes into your head. And if you don't know what to write, you just write down, I don't know what to write. I don't know what to write. And uh, that combined with the little prompts can be a very powerful exercise. And I use that in some of my mindful classes um, where you have a timed journaling activity and people always say they got some new insights. So there's some ideas on mindful journaling. Thanks so much for listening. If you're interested in joining a, um, a community for mindfulness teachers, then, then get in touch with me. Uh, we're just launching that today. Uh, and uh, if you want to follow us, uh, we've got a seven day free email course on, on my website. But yeah, any thoughts about the podcast as well? Any, um, if you want to put a review or subscribe and all that kind of stuff, then, then go ahead with that too. And I look forward to continuing this journey with you. Okay.